Hello everyone and welcome to our operating system practical series. Today we will go through the first assignment of operating system practicals. So the first assignment of operating system practical is to implement MD command of DOS or MKDIR command of Linux. So before directly going to what our C program is going to be, let us first check the execution of MD command. For that, you need to visit the file menu and DOS shell. So this is our DOS shell where you can perform all your DOS commands. So let us first check how MD command works. MD, which is the make directory command is used to create directories. I'm trying to create assignment one named directory. So it is prompting a message that you cannot make the directory named assignment one. Usually this message is prompted whenever we already have a file named from assignment one. So let us change the name. ASG one. And let us check whether this directory is created or not. For that, you need to execute the command dir, which is used to list all the directories from your location. So here there are n number of files. So let me first exit. And I have already shown you what location of files you can select. For safer side, we can keep our programs at turbo C PC bin location, but I have created my folder. So I will be changing my directory. I have used the option change directory. And now at C drive, turbo C bin, I will select my folder, which is NDP. Check the location here. You can see what location of file you are choosing. I will change this directory and I'll just say, okay. Now again, visit and check your DOS shell. So the location in the below at down, you can see the location is changed from bin to NDP. You can run CLS command, which is used to clear the DOS screen and enter. Now I can check if ASG one named directory can get created even previous the directory got created but the list of directories is too much so locating our newly created directory becomes slight difficult for safer side i have created my own folder and i have kept all my programs because i can easily locate them but if you are having a problem locating your files keep it at location bin if you have not created the new folder of your roll number, no need to change your directory, directly execute your programs. So let us uh, switch back to our MD ASG1 and enter. I will execute DIR command to check whether ASG1 directory is created or not. So it is showing ASG1 directory is created. Now we are going to execute this command through our C program. We are going to replace MD command with our program name and check the working or execution of MD command. For that, you need to understand what are command line arguments, what is a command, what is how it works, what are our argument counter and what is our argument vector. I have already given you a summative video of the same. Please go through that video if you have not gone through that video. Understand what are argument counter and vector. Now here, if you see our command line DOS prompt is C drive turbo C3 bin NDP. This is our prompt and I have executed MD command and given one more argument. So we have already decided that we will start counting our arguments from one because argument position zero is going to be our file name. So position one is in this case, our command, which is MD 
position second is our directory name so first position is our command which is md command and second position is our directory name and total number of arguments if you ask me are number of argument is two first argument command and second argument directory name total number of arguments become two now let us go through what our code is saying we are going to implement md command of dos or mkdir command of linux we all, you all are familiar with the header files which is standard input output dot h console input output dot h and this is a new directory but still let us go through what standard input output dot h is going to be it is a standard input output library you can say it has information related to all input output functions the console which is conio dot h has got information which includes useful library functions like clear screen and get ch both the functions are included in console input output and here the last directory which is dir dot h the name itself is saying that dir which is the directory short form is going to include all the operations or you can say functions which we will require to perform operations on directories whatever command whatever dos commands we are going to implement this year all the information related to those command is included in the dir.h so these are the three header files which we are going to include further we will type our main function which is our regular main function but is including argument counter and argument vector argument counter which is of integer type and which is going to count the number of arguments argument vector which is a character pointer array or you can say which is a pointer array which points to each argument passed by the program i have already explained both the arguments in my previous video please go through it if you have not gone through it the next thing is again a uh, f1 our main function gets opened here now we have made use of a pointer f1 this pointer is of data type file therefore it becomes a file pointer further i have made use of a character which is ch i have cleared my screen and now our basic program gets started so here we have handled the arguments count first we have understood that how this md command is working we found the count of argument the md command was executing like md space directory name so the total number of arguments were 2 so our program should exactly get executed when arguments count becomes equal to 2 if the arguments count is equal to 1 it should give one message which is invalid parameters if arguments count becomes greater than 2 it should give us a message that is you are having too many parameters and our program should exactly get executed when our arguments count becomes equal to 2 so when our arguments count will he will encounter that the number of arguments are equal to 2 first thing it will do is it will check for mkdir now just now i told you that i have included dir.h which is going to have all the information related to the dos commands and directory handling commands so we have passed our inbuilt dos command in our code which is mkdir and it is checking if argument vector position 1 or argument vector 1 becomes equal to 0 you should print a message directory created now what was vector position 1 we checked our md command and our vector position 0 
we have decided that it is going to be our program name vector position one is the command itself and position two is our directory name so when vector position one becomes equal to zero you should get a message printed which is directory created else we are still into the argument counter equal to two if loop I have again written one more if loop inside else it should print p error now what is this p error it is a error function from c which is used to print any error message so whatever you are going to print inside these double quotations it will get prompted on the screen if this fails it is definitely give you one error and our bracket gets closed here we get out from our if block and get ch. Now let us see how to execute this program. So our steps which I have already told you in the first uh, session where we saw the execution of operating system programs. The first step you should do is compile your code. After compilation you can check for warnings and errors there are no warning and errors right now the next step you can do is make so you can see it is trying to create one exe file now after one or two compilation the mouse pointer doesn't work so make sure that you learn the shortcuts before you go for execution if you want to switch to the menu bar again press f10 if you're using your laptop press function key and f10 after compile make go for link and lastly go for builder wait for a moment when you build your code and make sure you write down this exe name if you spell it incorrectly or type it incorrectly our program is not going to get executed so make sure you write down this exe name in my program in my case it is dot dot backslash dot dot backslash source backslash mkd dot exe so this whole is treated as one exe name sometimes only this md mkd dot exe helps us but in many times the baggage or whatever the long name is created should be used. So this is the exe name. Let us press enter. One more thing which you should remember is never give your command name as it is. Like say for example, we are working on MD command and if I give my program name as md.c, the exe by default is going to get created as md.exe which is again dos exe so instead of command maybe the dos command gets executed and you will not understand whether your program is error free and is working as expected or not so for safer side never give any inbuilt names to your c program make sure you add some either prefixes or postfixes to your name and create a new name. So let us go to our DOS shell, enter. If your screen is full of uh, some things and which you don't want, use CLS command and enter. Now we will check whether our exe is working properly or not. So the first thing which we gave as argument, the first position was command. We are going to implement that command. So we will replace that command with our exe, which is dot dot backslash dot dot backslash source mkd dot exe. Let us check whether it is working or not. And I will create one directory named maybe DCS 3. Let us press enter now. Yes. 
so the message directory created is prompted that means the directory is created let us check whether the directory is created or not i will execute dir command and enter so here i can see bcs3 is created with the date and time so this is how your program should work if you want to exit from this screen press exit and type exit and press enter so this was your code very simple very easy to understand make sure that you first learn how to count your argument once you understand the argument count you will understand exactly where to place your code which is the working code and the rest things are very very easy we have passed the inbuilt command so it is not of more of any complications very easy do not forget to get your output screen if you are not familiar to how to get output screen you have to visit window window here you have the output screen press enter here you can get whatever calculations or whatever steps you did in the output go to edit copy and just paste you can get your output and all the steps you did so this was all about our first assignment i hope it was easy to understand it was nothing of more cal calculations or maybe complications do not forget to write down the working of each directory especially dir.h and also p error so let us quit i hope you liked it